Hi everyone. Welcome to the 10th lecture of the series on sliding mode control. In this lecture, we will discuss about discrete time sliding mode control and applications of SMC. We start with the discrete time SMC in which we consider the discrete time system as given in equation number 1, where xk is the discrete time state vector, which can be considered as the continuous time state vector at the time instant kt, where t is the sampling period. And similarly, uk is the discrete time control input vector. at and bt are the system metrics and input metrics in discrete time. So here this t denotes the sampling period. And we define the sliding variable in discrete time as in equation number 2, where we denote sk as s of kt. And here m is the parameter matrix. In continuous time SMC, we have seen the reaching law in equation number 3, which can ensure an eta reachability condition where eta and q are some parameters which are chosen as positive. Now in a similar way, we can construct reaching laws in discrete time as well. And for that, we can discretize this equation with a sampling period t, which results in equation number 4. Here, s dot can be approximated as delta s by delta t. So if we consider delta t as the sampling period t, then we have delta s will be sk plus 1 minus sk. So we can approximate s dot as sk plus 1 minus sk by t. And here we have minus neta into signum of sk minus q into sk. Now if you take this t into this right hand side and rearrange this equation, we can obtain the Gauss reaching law as in equation number 5, which gives sk plus 1 equal to 1 minus qt into sk minus neta into signum of sk. So this is actually one of the reaching law using which we can compute the control input in discrete time SMC. We define the sliding variable in discrete time as sk equal to m into xk. This gives sk plus 1 as m into xk plus 1 where we can replace xk plus 1 with the state equation that gives this equation. Now with the Gauss reaching law, we require sk plus 1 as in equation number 7 for ensuring finite time reachability. So if we equate this equation with this and solve for uk, we can obtain uk as in equation number 8. This is basically the Gauss reaching law based on the design of discrete time SMC. Next we can consider an example in which we consider a discrete time LTA system with system matrix and input matrix as in equation number 9. And the sliding variable is chosen as sk equal to m into xk with m as here. And using the Gauss reaching law, we compute the control law, which results in equation number 10, where we can substitute for m, bt, and we can select some value of q, and this will give us the control law. This figure shows the response of the discrete time LTA system with the discrete SMC, where we can see the plot of the state x1, x2, and the sliding variable s and the control input u. Here we can see that the state x1 starts from 5 and it converges to 0 and the state x2 starts from minus 1 and it also converges to 0 and the sliding variable also converges to 0. However, here we can see that there is oscillation in the states in steady state period. This is basically the discrete time chattering. Next, we move on to the applications of SMC. In general, SMC has applications in areas such as power converters, electrical machines and drives, power systems, mechanical systems, etc. Since SMC has the ability to handle bounded uncertainty, we can use SMC for robust control of systems. Next, we move on to the references. This lecture series is mostly based on my book on sliding mode control, which can be directly downloaded from this link. And these are the major books published in the area of sliding mode control, which can be referred for the basic concepts and also the advanced topics in SMC. That completes this lecture and also this lecture series. Thanks for listening.